Hey guys, I'm Jelaine and you're watching Unboxing UF. Today, we took a trip to Smathers Library to check out some mysterious boxes from special collections. So we have this really cool, old looking box. I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it sounds old. And then inside, something I've never really seen before. Lots of bubble wrap. Wow. So yeah, it's like this big round like cylinder. It looks like it's something that spins around. And then inside, there's these cool little designs on the inside. There's all these really neat little things. That little thing climbing up the ladder has a tail, so I don't know if it's supposed to be some kind of animal. This stuff, it smells old. I feel like I'm holding really important stuff in my hand and I don't wanna mess it up. There's all different kinds. So this, this dude or girl, there's a lot going on. Oh, it's called the Little Umbrella Man. Hmm. It looks like this would be some kind of spinny piece. It looks like these two, they go together. Those pieces that I pulled up, like they go like directly hand in hand with whatever this is and wherever this goes. Maybe on the inside of this. So I honestly have no idea how I would even put this stuff together, so I brought in some help. Susan Altieri from Special Collections um, is going to be showing me how this thing works. Hi, Jillian. So you're right, this is a zoetrope, and I'm gonna show you, first of all, how to put it together. Awesome. So this is what the zoetrope sits on, and usually people would have this in their living room. Mm -hmm. They probably would have called it a parlor, but we don't use that term anymore, so. And then these pieces, so on the base, and this is what allows the drum to move. And so you just screw this on here. And then it's a little bit tricky. Okay. So there's a little hole in the bottom you okay. can kind of see, and it will slide right in there. Cool. Kind of looks like a lamp. And then would these pieces go within? Yep, so these uh, strips, as well as these flat paper pieces, this mm -hmm. goes on the bottom, okay. um, like this. And what kind of an effect does that have on the um, drum? So when you spin the drum, mm -hmm. and you actually will have to look through the slits, that makes these still images move. Oh, and cool. this was uh, from the 1870s, and oh. is sort of a precursor to um, animation or film. It's like a gif. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a gif, exactly. And then when you spin it, and you can give it a really good spin, this, mm -hmm. you'll notice that the figure inside is going to move. OK, cool. Can I do it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is exactly what I was thinking. I guess animation would probably be the word that I was looking for earlier. Or even like, it's kind of like, the, at least the bottom piece, um, kind of reminds me of like a kaleidoscope a little right. bit, mm -hmm. which is really cool, but yeah, that's that's neat. Well, thank you so much, Susan, for having me and showing me how to put together the zoetrope from the special collections. It's It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.